Do you know that hormones reach the target organs through through blood? Okay. Whereas the exocrine glands through the ducts. Yes. Okay. Why the why the endocrine glands? I mean, as the secretions, the hormones having wide distribution to many target organs, so it cannot have ducts to all those target organs. That's why. It releases its secretions into the bloodstream. That's why we call it endocrine gland or tubeless gland. Okay. So the secretions from the hypothalamus they come through this bloodstream and then act on the pituitary gland to secrete their secretions. Okay. So this system is called as hypophysial portal system. What is that? Hypothalamus or hypophysial portal system. So you have mainly vessels like the vessels which supply the hypothalamus, the hypothalamic vessels. And two important vessels which supply this pituitary, that is superior and inferior hypophysial arteries or vessels. Okay, so those arteries and the veins that are having connections. So these are the portal systems. See here, here is one, and here is one. So the veins from the hypothalamus they mix with the veins of the pituitary gland, so that secretions from the hypothalamus they come to reach the pituitary gland and and stimulate the secretions. And even there is feedback mechanism also. When the blood hormone level increases, which it does really stop the release of the regulating hormone. Got it? Okay, that is the physiology. Yes. Doctor, again, the portal system. Mm. That means the hormone go from the hypothalamus to the yeah. uh, gland by the uh, blood vessels. Yeah. That means the portal system. That is the portal system. There is connection okay. between the veins. Okay. So that is the hypophysio. That is hypophysial portal system, or you can even say it as hypothalamo hypophysial portal system. Hypothalamo hypophysial portal system, or hypophysial portal system. What are the vessels involved? Superior and inferior hypophysial vessels and hypothalamic vessels. Clear? So, some of the applied aspects. So, as I said, the pituitary gland is a very important gland. As yes, it's called as a master gland, so any any diseases which affects pituitary gland will have widespread effects because it controls many of the, many of the body functions like metabolism, sex, reproduction, growth, behavior, everything. Okay, it is affected, and even as it is having important relations with the cranial nerves, the blood vessels, and all, so any tumor or growth from it will have consequences. Like if the tumor is suppressing on the optic chiasma or the optic nerve, then you will have Blindness. Okay, if it is affecting the cavernous sinus, it may increase the pressure and eyeballs may pop out, pulsating eyeballs. Okay, and there may be paralysis of many of the muscles of the eyeball, and because of the involvement of the maxillary nerve, there may be anesthesia over the face, altered sensations over the face. Okay, all those things. So, depending on and even the functioning of the pituitary gland itself. Sometimes there may be over secretion of the pituitary hormones, or maybe hypo secretion of the pituitary hormone. Depending on that, there will be signs and symptoms. Am I clear? Yes. That is about the pituitary gland. Okay. So that's all. It's a, a small topic, the pituitary gland. Okay. For anything else, you want to please to make sure we supply the. So if there is a question like what is the blood supply, then you must know. Mention about this hypophysial portal system. This word portal system is very important. We must mention this hypophysial portal system. Okay, got the vessels involved: hypothalamic vessels, superior and inferior hypophysial vessels. Okay, got it. Yeah. Doctor, the name of the vessels is right. Next slide. Next slide. No vessel for blood supply. I brought only this slide. Where this labeled? Okay, you can see it here. Superior hypophysial artery. Hypothalamic vessels, the inferior hypothalamic artery, and the vessels. Okay, it's clear. Is this lab? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lab. Yeah, lab. Thank you. So this one, this is one slide. Okay. Okay. And this is one slide. Okay. Okay. From your oxygen point of view. So this is very very important. This explains the relations. Okay. Upper relations, superior relations, anterior relations. Lateral relations, inferior relations. Okay, you must know what are the structures related. Labeling. You must look into the labeling also. Okay. All the things. Yeah, what I explained. Okay. Like internal cavity, artery, these nerves. Yes. Okay. This spinal layer, sinus, the optic nerve, the chiasma, all those things. Okay. Okay. Some of the three. This 
one also. Okay. The light. What is this? Not the whole one. Some of us you want to speak about. Yeah. Not all. Okay. Here the many wavelengths are there. Yes. Concentrate so, only the pituitary. Okay. This part. The optic. Cella, cursica, the optic nerve, the pituitary part. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Maybe the identification itself. Okay. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. Yeah.